Welcome back you guys to another Jay-Z fishing video. We're here today at a spot that we haven't been to in a very long time. I want to say probably two and a half, three years at this point. If you guys actually recognize this spot, you guys deserve some recognition. Tell us down in the description box below if you remember which video we posted this spot in last because it was a while ago for sure. But uh, the goal for today is to get some striped bass, to get some stingrays, to get some sharks. Uh, we've heard some good reports of leopard sharks here. I will say the tide is very slow today, which I'll show you and kind of talk about later on in today's video. But I'm here with Zach, who hopefully you can kind of see down there. He's already got his rod. He's already casting out of top water. But uh, enough talking. Let's get the lines in the water. We're gonna go two stingray rods, two striper rods. Let's go. Holy y'all. So we only have one camera today. No GoPro, just the big camera. Zach, what just happened? Bro, I just got a big bite. Got a right on me. Hold on. Right on you? What, what do you mean by he, that? He blew up right on my top water and I missed him. But oh, you had him on for a second. It I did like. have him on for a second. And when they bite once, they usually bite again. So let's try and get him. All right, guys, so we're, we're out here fishing. We just fished for stripers for about one, one and a half hours. We only got one topwater bite, so we're gonna take a little break, wait for the tides to switch before we pick that back up again. And in the meantime, we're gonna be fishing for sharks. So right now for sharks, we're using um, a fish finder rig with a piece of squid on one of the rods and a piece of anchovy on the other side of the rods. And what we're hoping for is that later in the day, we'll hopefully get some more bites because right now it's a super slow moving tide. It only moves less than a foot within four or five hours which is not what you want you want a really fast moving tide when the afternoon it picks up a little bit and starting at like 11 o'clock is when I think we should start catching fish it's about 10 o'clock right now so yeah hopefully we'll catch some stripers and some sharks and yeah we'll keep you tuned okay so like Zach said uh, we're not really expecting too much right now we're just kind of kind of sitting honestly uh, low expectations at the moment but hopefully in an hour or two it's gonna start to pick up we need to be heading out at around 12 1 ish 12 1 1 at the latest so you know it's gonna be quick we're probably gonna only have an hour or two to fish the good tide which is starting at 11 or 11 30 ish so it's gonna be a little bit tight but i do think we have a good chance of getting at least one fish here it might take us a second but we're in here for the long waiting game yeah getting a bite on the far rod here you're shaking you saw that i saw it that was weird it like didn't make a bell sound yeah hey all right never mind we'll cut back to you when we get a fish Shark for sure, shark for sure, guys. Let's see, hopefully the JZ fishing video drop ends with this fish. It's coming easy now. Is this the hunter? Come off. No, he's still on it. Still on there? Okay, let's go. No, he's still on it. He's coming right at me. Shark for sure, or a shovel. Speak of a little bit. See, stingray, baby stingray. Wow, that's the smallest stingray I've seen in a while. That's a huge piece of bait too. Really? There's a little stingray, guys. Well, the skunk's gone, which is good. So guys, this is a baby stingray, one of the smallest ones we've ever caught. We're gonna release him back in. Hopefully it'll be at least 100 pounds when we catch him next. Well, that was kind of unexpected. A fish is a fish. Yeah, I mean, first of all, neither one of us really saw that bite coming. We thought it was gonna come a lot later in the day. Not at all mad, kind of confused. A peak low tide on a 0 0.9 feet moving tide. Yeah. I'm gonna say that that was an oddity fish. Also, the way it was fighting in the beginning, I don't know, you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. It kind of felt like it was head shaking, so I was gonna say shark or maybe a shovel nose guitar fish, but a small stingray. It was also huge bait, like a huge piece of bait. That was a full piece of squid that that fish ate. Also, didn't have a tail. There's a lot of weird things about that. Yeah, a little baby didn't know what time he should be eating. Exactly. Lost his mama. But, you know, very happy with that, hoping to get some more. Zach's got next fish. Also, one other thing, my birthday was on Labor Day, which was last Monday. And the only thing I ask is for you guys to subscribe and like this video. It would help us out a lot. Trying to grow, you know, trying to, to grow our audience, try and reach as many people as we possibly can. We make lots of videos just like this. We try and make them as high quality as possible. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, we're actually recording on a brand new camera. 
yeah. uh, absolutely brand new. So hopefully the quality of our videos is gonna be stepped up a lot. And uh, so yeah, we would love you guys to join our community. Please, join our community. It's a really cool community. It is a great community. Zach's got a fish on. This looks like this is a shark. Definitely a shark. Oh. Shark? Yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a shark. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. That's pretty perfect. All right, guys, this is a leopard shark right here. Has really cool, these like leopard spots all over him. And he's been out of the water for a little bit, so let's get a release on him. Beautiful. Oh, dude. Wow, that was just about to end the live bike camp, too. Don't lose him. <laughs> Sharks, you do not want to get your fingers anywhere near these teeth, and you always gotta check your leaders after you catch them because they can bite them. And I don't think we check, checked our leader after that last fish. We did not. So. I'm okay. Trying to be very, very careful with this fish. It's also possible it's a shovel nose. It is possible. There That's it is. Size it's a good size. Maybe not the definitely not the biggest we caught, but it's a good size leopard right there. It's a hard fighting. For sure, for sure. Alright, let's get him in. Oh. Got oh. like wrapped in the tail. Yeah. Well, it's alright. Easy release. Oh. We were gonna release it. Okay, update. Update, We since our last update we caught one little baby stingray and then right after that, probably five or ten minutes, I hooked on to a nice size shark, probably three and a half, four feet. Really cool, really nice fight. And then Joe got the massive bite from this giant shark that we got close to shore and then its tail wrapped around the line. And if you didn't know something about sharks is their, their whole body really is kind of like sandpaper. It's really like, it's, it's rough, so if you, if your line gets wrapped around its tail and it starts swimming away, it's likely your line's gonna get cut, and that's what happened to us. And yeah, so basically lost lost a fish, caught two fish, and hoping for many more. Yeah, it's it's been a weird day. All of our bites have come during tides that we didn't really expect fish from. Yeah, which is quite strange. Um, but you know we're gonna be out here for probably another hour or so. Yeah, hoping to get a fish. Uh, we'll see. You know, still have pretty high hopes for probably another leopard shark. My striped bass hopes have kind of gone down as it's, got, as it's gotten hotter, but you never know, honestly. It's been a weird day. Never know. So, uh, you know, we got a couple, a uh, little bit more time left. If you're still watching this, please subscribe. You're obviously enjoying our content to be still clicked on this video. Um, so just go down there, it helps us a lot. Uh, and hopefully we'll update you guys with the fish here soon. All right, y'all. We're taking a bit of a lunch break here. We got some Chipotle. Zach went and got it from an, it got delivered to, what happened? It got delivered to another house? Yeah, okay. It got delivered to a different house. Um, we're taking a little break from fishing. Uh, I think that's just about it. But uh, yeah, so let's eat some lunch. All right, feeling a lot more refreshed after that Chipotle. Still got not too much time left in today's fishing trip. 
but it is what it is. Um, let's get down this little precarious bench there. Whew. All right. Um, yeah, like I was saying, not too much time left in today's fishing trip, but uh, we're gonna try and make the most of it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully we get one more fish before signing off for today, but uh, we'll see. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. We got one stingray, one shark, lost one striper, and lost another shark. It was a fun day, it's getting really hot out, and we both got some plans in the afternoon. We'll be back here, though, to catch some more fish, and yeah, it was a good day.